All right, this is the one liter cell. It has been in use for about 18 hours and the crystal growth looks good. There was one little spindly one, but I think once the silver ions really started to start moving around, you can see here, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice. I'm gonna spin it. There's the uh, stainless steel cathode that I had used heat treat tape on this time. I put those in a spiral, but uh, man, that looks pretty good, don't you think? We're going to see how long I can get it to grow before I have to knock it down. I suspect I might have to pull it down. I was hoping the crystals would grow a little bit larger on the sides, but uh, you can see this what we have. A little bit of cauliflower action, but uh, that looks really nice, man. That I wish you could see the sparkle. So see if we can do something a little better there. You really can't. But, uh, man, that that really looks nice. So, 18 hours in operation, looking good. This is the top view. See, I'm accumulating a little bit of slimes. Uh, other than that looks pretty good crystal growth looks great so there we go folks stay tuned so this is the silver cell that's been in operation for 18 hours and uh, the crystal growth's pretty good that little top piece uh, has grown a little spindly but the rest of them are growing out really nice I'll probably have to knock it down tonight before I retire but we're pulling about uh, 2.31 volts and I've gone up on my amperage just a little it's at 0.739 almost you know 0.8 amps and that's increased our wattage to about 1.7 watts um, we're, we're rolling pretty good I guess if I was to do this better I would you know use that diacron bag but these muslin bags work pretty good got moderate slime build up in there don't understand. I thought this was pretty pure. Maybe it's palladium. I don't know. We'll find out when we refine the bags down the road. But uh, that's it. Man. Let me see if I can get you a close up of that. But uh, man, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, that's not bad. You know, I like the smaller cells. Like I said, I like to come home and watch them, see how the crystal growth is after work. And. Uh, Kind of keeps me from doing household chores. I need to probably get back in the swing of that. But, you know, on the bottom here, uh, you can see they're really starting to grow up. It's uh, pretty nice. I did the stainless steel wire ties in a couple of spirals. It's got two spirals in it. Uh, where we see the middle growth of the silver has uh, really, really taken off. But uh, that's it. No stainless steel bowl, one liter beaker and uh, stainless steel wire ties. Well, we're at two minutes. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to get that crystal lattice structure. Man, it's so cool. There's a maple leaf looking crystal lattice structure on top. It's so cool. Maybe it looks like a pot leaf. I don't know. Pot leaf sounds like a better description. All right, and this is the silver recovered from washing out the glassware and filter rinse from the silver cell. You know, we're trying to recover all the silver, but that's not bad. You know, that looks like a decent amount. So, man, we're getting there. We really are. Stick with it. You can do this, guys. It's not hard.